In an effort to cement U.S.-Africa relations, U.S. President Barack Obama will be touring the continent this week and next, making stops in Senegal, South Africa and Tanzania. This will be the president's first visit to the continent during his second term in office. Obama briefly visited Ghana during his first term as president in 2009. Wangani Kimeni, director of the Africa Growth Initiative, describes the U.S. relationship with the continent as from the perspective of the continent's problems rather than its opportunities. Over the past 10 years, as the continent has exhibited signs of change, the U.S. relationship with Africa has practically remained the same. And where the U.S. has fallen short, other countries like China, India, Russia, Brazil, Turkey and Iran have stepped in. A shortfall the U.S. is well aware of. In March 2012, a bill was introduced in the Senate which aimed to increase American jobs through greater exports to Africa. And while the bill was not enacted, it has been reintroduced in April of this year. The Senate Committee on Foreign Relations is expected to approve this bill on the 25th of June, coinciding with the President's trip to Africa. Once approved, it will go through the Senate and the House of Representatives before being signed by the President. The bill aims to increase American exports to Africa by 200% within the next 10 years. U.S. direct FDI on the continent has continued to increase and last year reached $56.6 billion. The three largest recipients of direct U.S. FDI are Egypt, Nigeria and South Africa. Travelling with a large business delegation that will join him on different parts of his trip, President Obama will surely try and regain America's place as the continent's largest trading partner after being outrun by China in 2009. During this tour, the president will attempt to flex America's muscle on the continent, a continent that many accuse Obama of ignoring, especially during his first term in office, unlike his counterparts from China, India and even France, which have continued to bolster relations. What remains to be seen is where the continent's loyalties eventually lie. East or West.